in the smartphone world, you just can't have it all when it comes to budget devices and these two here are a prime example of that. The Xiaomi 13T and the Pixel 8 are both bloody amazing in their own way, but which one of these phones will Santa bring you this Christmas? Let's compare them and find out. So let's start with the build quality, which is great on both of the phones, but I do like the Xiaomi's leather back way more than the fingerprint magnet that the Pixel 8's glass back has to offer. That being said, the Pixel 8 has way more premium feel in the hand, and even though the Xiaomi is much bigger, it's actually only 5 grams heavier than the Pixel 8. But in any case, you would be pleased to know that you can draw both of these devices in your toilet as they are IP68 dust and water resistant and when it comes to the front glass, that will be Gorilla Glass 5 on the Xiaomi versus the better Gorilla Glass Victus that we have on the Pixel 8. Ok, so how about the displays? Well, when it comes to them, you might think that there is a massive difference, but actually both phones offer very similar specs here. The Pixel 8 comes with a 6.2 inch OLED screen with a maximum of 120Hz refresh rate and tops at 2000 nits of brightness which is brighter than my future as a YouTuber but it cannot be the 6.7 inch 144Hz of the 13T where it's 2600 nits of brightness. It's simply crazy how bright this phone gets. Oh, and also Xiaomi offers a slightly higher resolution, which is a bit above Full HD, but that being said, I doubt you will notice much of a difference and both of these devices offer a great viewing experience. I would still prefer the bigger screen that the Xiaomi has to offer simply because I am used to bigger phones at this point, but maybe you really like the compact feel of the Pixel 8 and the ability to use a phone with one hand, if you know what I mean. And here is a quick sound test of the speakers of both of these devices. But how much power did they manage to stuff inside of these phones you might ask? Well, surprisingly, even though the Pixel 8 and the 13T have around $200 of difference in price, they offer similar performance but not a similar user experience. What do I mean by that? Well, let me show you. The Xiaomi 13T has the MediaTek Dimensity 8200 Ultra which is a powerful chip for a flagship blower and deliv delivers some nice performance especially when it comes to the likes of Genshin Impact and some other games I have tried on the device. There are a few FPS drops here and there but nothing too dramatic and it handles day to day tasks quite well including flicking between multiple apps in games but I should mention also that the phone can heat up a bit. Well, no, nothing too extreme, but it still gets a little bit warmer compared to the Pixel. And on the other hand, the Pixel 8 offers the newest Tensor G3 chip, which is the same as the Pro version of this device, and to be frank, it doesn't feel much like a flagship chip at all. The gaming experience, just like my childhood, is a bit disappointing here, and you will experience quite a lot of FPS drops when it comes to games, but I would say that it's still pretty tolerable, just not for the hardcore mobile gamers out there. What it lacks in gaming though, this chip compensates with optimizations and AI features that run through the entire phone. From its AI camera system to smart adaptive battery drain, I would argue that it's the better chip out of the two and it comes with a bunch of handy features and heat optimization that is probably unmatched. So if you want a slightly better speed, the Xiaomi is the right phone for you, but if you want the best in class smart features and overall software experience, then the Pixel 8 is gonna give you exactly that. When it comes to software support, Xiaomi offers at least 5 years of uh, Android updates and software updates overall, but the Pixel 8 uh, tops that with uh, 7 years of updates, so you would be ok until 2030, if you are still using the same phone until then. I mean probably the battery is gonna be degraded by then, but hey this brings us to the battery life and speaking about the battery guys, there is a big difference here since the Xiaomi 13T comes with a 5000mAh battery capable of 67W fast charging and that makes sure you have a full battery in the time it takes you to take your morning shower, while the Pixel 8 offers a slightly smaller 4575mAh 
that caps at 27 watt charging making it a lot more inconvenient when it comes to charging because it takes a little bit over an hour and a half to fully charge this device and the good thing about the pixel is that it also has uh, wireless charging but it's kind of a slow 18 watts maximum wireless charging and even though it slows down the battery degradation because overall the phone charges slower I would still prefer the 67 watts charging of the Xiaomi it just it is just so fast and convenient for me. Now, the camera department is where the Pixel 8 has a massive advantage compared to the Xiaomi 13T and where the price difference is worth it in my opinion. On paper, the Xiaomi 13T offers beefier specs with its triple camera system uh, that offers a 50 megapixel main shooter, a 50 megapixel telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. However, when it comes to software processing, the Pixel 8 is the winner here, taking a better photo in almost any situation. It offers a main 50 megapixel shooter and a 12.5 megapixel ultra wide, and these two lenses are more, more than capable of capturing that perfect moment and enhancing it further with a dozen AI features that you just can't find anywhere else. It's a shame that the telephoto lens is available only on the Pixel 8 Pro, but that one costs a lot more than the regular Pixel 8 and it's simply not worth it for the most people. A mistake on my end would be the Pixel photos in this comparison shot during the night. I just didn't keep my phone steady enough and I have activated the night sight on the Pixel, so they turned out a lot worse than the Xiaomi and that's why I'm putting some extra Pixel shots just to avoid any confusion. This phone actually can take pretty great pictures during the night. And if you're curious, I have also made a full Pixel 8 review, you can check it on my channel and there's gonna be a link on the top right corner here, so make sure to check it out. Anyway, both the Xiaomi and the Pixel take awesome photos, but the Pixel is the clear winner here when it comes to color accuracy and details. And when it comes to video recording, on the Pixel 8 that's slightly better than the Xiaomi and it offers 4K 30 and 60fps recording on all of its cameras. Yes, even the front one. And that software makes sure your video turns out to be well balanced with accurate colors but also not overly sharpened as the one from the Xiaomi 13T. The colors are a lot more saturated on the Xiaomi so I can see why many people would prefer it. And I would argue that in some cases the 13T beats the Pixel 8 but it all boils down to personal preference so what are your thoughts about this? Make sure to let me know down in the comments guys. You can shoot HDR10 plus video on both of these phones at 30 FPS which turns out great but you also have the regular SDR video recording since not everyone has an HDR screen and trying to play these videos on a normal monitor or TV will result in the colors being really washed out. Even in Premiere Pro while I am editing these videos they really don't look as great just because of that. And when it comes to the stabilization, I am simply mind blown by how good it is on both of these devices. I remember the times when walking or running would result in a mess, but definitely not here. And if you like my content and if you like this video, don't be afraid to push that little like button down there, I'm sure it doesn't bite. And let's move on with the video. As for the front facing cameras, uh, the Xiaomi supports maximum of Full HD 30fps so I have capped that on the Pixel 1 as well, uh, just uh, for the comparison to be fair. And I still believe that both of these cameras perform quite well but the Pixel still has the edge when it comes to details. Turn off the lights and it's a totally different story. Both phones perform quite well here considering the limited amount of light but for some reason I like the Xiaomi's video way more than the Pixel's. Now don't get me wrong here, both of these phones shoot like 99% the same quality video when it comes to nighttime. I just think that on the Xiaomi there's a little bit less grain than on the Pixel and the Pixel still keeps these natural colors and uh, removes that yellowish uh, uh, kind of feel that you get with the Xiaomi. Uh, but I would prefer the Xiaomi because I believe it handles light better than the Pixel. Now, it might be only my crazy mind here, I'm not so sure, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. One thing is for sure is that the front camera of the Pixel has a wider field of view and more details compared to the Xiaomi's. Great results from both of these devices overall and if you need some advice, take the Xiaomi for its punchy colors and the Pixel for its details and color accuracy overall. In conclusion, I would say that the Xiaomi 13T offers the better value, so this phone has a better screen, a bigger battery and it's overall better at gaming while being cheaper than the Pixel 8. But I would still pick the Pixel 8 only because of its camera, so it really depends on what you're seeking in a phone. 
Personally for me, since I really love this camera experience and the whole software of Google, they have just made an awesome job uh, regarding the software and all of the AI features and stuff like that. So I'll definitely go with the Pixel 8 here. But if I was on a budget and I wanted to save just a little bit more while getting a perfectly great device, then the Xiaomi 13T would definitely be the one. Anyway guys, thank you so much for sticking until the end. And I would really appreciate it if you pop that little like button down there, subscribe to my channel for more, comment down below on which one of these two phones you like more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Have a wonderful week. Bye.